Oh, I black. On live, which what's far? That blue shit, man. What blue shit? What you had on that last night. Oh. oh shit! Baby said my blue outfit was fire as fuck last night. <laughs> oh shit! Good morning, y'all. Y'all gonna stop saying I look like Miss Netta. I really do in the morning time. But y'all gonna stop saying I look like Miss Netta and, and um, <laughs> Sterl look like Charles. We is not Netta and Charles over here. Even though baby did go buy some fake Louis, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I said, baby, how you get some Louis Vuitton in the mail? <laughs> We is not Netta and Charles, y'all. Stop doing that. That ain't funny no more. <laughs> we is not Netta and Charles. So I just came to report last night. It was a whole fucking vibe. Sorry if we made too much noise for you, Bree. Um, so where should I start? <laughs> I want to thank Jason for that magical experience. First of all, Jason was a whole vibe, even though I didn't get to say hi to him because he was so high power last night. And I get it. You know what I'm saying? He was so high power last night. I'm going to go pull up on him at his spot, though. I know where he be at. Um, everybody looked fucking amazing. Everybody looked amazing. I looked the best. Y'all already know I looked the best. Um, that was Callie's outfit because mine didn't fit and she didn't end up going. But y'all can catch the reason why on Six Thoughts. So make sure y'all go subscribe. Um, I just want to say that I was about to cry literally all my makeup off. In fact, I did cry some of my makeup off when Jonathan gave his speech <laughs> y'all about to laugh y'all ass off i'm sorry jonathan i do love you and megan but i got to let this out okay um <laughs> i was about to cry y'all and then i looked up at the motherfucking teleprompter and the motherfucking teleprompter said cry now jonathan i ain't lying y'all this nigga starts crying in the middle of his speech and i'm crying and then i look over at the fucking teleprompter like i know you fucking lying girl the thing said cry now jonathan so y'all gonna start crying but just hold back your tears okay because i was like what in the merry motherfuck is going on <laughs> cry now jonathan he was like Girl, then I looks over. <laughs> I I I was that was just too Hollywood for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a little ghetto black mama from Youngstown to LA. I'm in there really about to cry and shit. And I look over. I see Megan ain't crying. I mean, Megan Good ain't crying. So I'm like, shit, bitch. If my man was up there doing all of that queening me crowning me with the queen and and my queen and my queen i'm telling y'all she wasn't crying i said why she ain't crying because if mr sappho <laughs> charles and netta <laughs> mr sappho say in front of all them rich celebrity people i'm his queen on the t on the tv baby i'm gonna cry but i said oh hell she couldn't see the teleprompter <laughs> She didn't know her cue to cry, bitch. <laughs> I looked over at the teleprompter and I said, well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Somebody wrote this shit for him. <laughs> Mr. Sappho, I don't care how rich we get. You better be able to tell me you love me without a motherfucking teleprompter. You feel me? You better... He love her without the teleprompter. He love her without the yeah, teleprompter, yeah, yeah. but I mean, you better be able to motherfucking Chill say out. it without the teleprompter, okay? Chill out on that. <laughs> yeah. And then... He's just, he just nervous, man. I don't give a fuck. You better not be nervous. Yeah. 
all them drawers I got to wash and iron and all them plates I got to make. <laughs> all that bending I got to do. Motherfucker, you better get up there and tell these motherfuckers you love me. And I'm your queen without the teleprompter. You better cry, too. Girl, you got to get them ready early, girl, because you can't be up there talking about. <laughs> girl, I turned around. I was about to breathe. Ask them. They had to get me together, girl. I was about to get real ghetto up in there. My makeup about to come off of this nigga speech. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, preach, ho, hallelujah. And I turn around and see the goddamn teleprompter, y'all. Both. It was, it was, it was a fantastic speech. It was heartfelt. It was, it was a great speech. It, it, I, I could be exaggerating y'all. Y'all know me. I had a little bit to drink, but anyway, then I look over and I see, uh, Miss Claudia and, um, she looking like a groupie as usual, trying to get in and back of me. I got it all on camera. Y'all, y'all going to see it. Um, what else had happened? Then I see, girl, you held on, hold on, y'all. Y'all ready for this part? I'm over there trying to act like a high power celebrity too. You know what I'm saying? I'm blue face mama. So I've been getting a lot of love in these streets for a minute now. So I, you know, when I get in the room, I have to tell Mr. Sappho, you know, act like a celebrity. You don't ask for no autograph. You don't look at nobody. You don't stare at him too long. You know, I'm trying to give him the etic LA etiquette. You know what I'm saying? My husband from Ohio. You know, when we from Ohio, we see celebrities. We be like, ah! So I was trying to get him together real quick, y'all. I was doing so good. I seen Omarion. I said, mm hmm Bree gonna say, I'm not lying, y'all. This is the honest to God's truth. Bree took a picture and hugged Omarion. And I ain't never seen Bree say nothing vulgar or foul in my life. She turned into a straight stripper, hooker, fucking sinner. Hear me? Bree says, I'm going to Oh, Marion's dick. I said, girl, she going to suck the man dick in front of picture. <laughs> in front of everybody. She didn't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't know if she had a moment um, of insanity, but that's what Bree said about Omarion, y'all. She was ready to just do it all right there in the lobby. I tried to get my whole team to be professional, but everybody did really, really well. We looked very, very celebrity-ish. My tie broke. Oh, yeah, my husband's tie broke. And he didn't have no tie, so he was subconscious about his tie all night. But you still look great, babe. Don't let these people... If, if they talking about your shirt or your <laughs> outfit, just be glad they talking about you, okay? That mean more money for you. Anywho, back to the story, y'all. So we doing so good. We see Osiris. I don't even look at him because I'm like, you know, I don't know if cut cool with my son. So I don't even, you know, I'm trying to just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. girl, when I seen Cardi, I got to trembling. I said, oh, shit, there go Cardi B. I'm losing my celebrity ship. She's so sweet and so beautiful and just so not a like. She's not a celebrity on the inside, if that makes sense, you guys. Like, I really fell in love with Cardi last night because she's just like Callie to me. Like, she just, her spirit was just like Callie's. Like, you don't find those spirits. Like They're baby, rare. Like baby, huh? yeah. I ain't going to bring up no, no names, but you know what I'm saying? Usually when you meet celebrities, it's real fake. It's real quick. It's real Hollywood. Like, Cardi is truly not that person on the inside that you see on a TV. She's the round the way home girl with the sweetest, sweetest heart. So, and I didn't know that. So I used to think she was, so I learned something about her last night too, honey. And I just lost it y'all. I was like, uh, can I, uh, can I take a picture? <laughs> Child, we had a good time last night. Thank you for the badge, boo girl. I, she liked this story, honey. I forgot I was blue face mama, Callie mama, Dre mama. I was Cardi mama last night. I didn't give a fuck, okay? Mr. Sappho was mad. He had to come upstairs and hit his inhaler, girl. They done put some damn fish meat in this food or something. I don't know. He, he allergic to fish, girl. He missed Cardi B. Um, shout out to the Zeus team. They was over there giving me so much love, honey. It was my show. Okay, Jason. 
the Zeus people got up and did it. Uh, uh, they own honorary of they people, and I was on the list, honey. So I was in that motherfucking room. You ain't hear some of them they celebrities in the room, but you definitely heard me. Brat was beautiful. She spoke, and then who else? Um, what's that other girl from the LGBT? What's her name, y'all? Her and the white girl was there. What's her name, y'all? Help me. Yes. She did such an amazing job, but y'all went out. The first person I saw, the first celebrity, the whole time I'm like, Carla, get to acting ghetto. You know what I'm saying? You got to get yourself together sometimes when you go places. When you You just regular. Raven, Raven. Yeah, that's so Raven. Oh my God, my kids love that's so Raven. Even um, Dre loves Raven. Like, I guess everybody loves, all the kids love Raven because my kids grew up on Raven. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I love Raven. Yes. So she did such an amazing job. Um, who else? Kiki blew the, Kiki Wyatt blew the microphone up, okay? We was up in there, honey. But we was about to go. Forget where we was at. I had to get my suit together because, girl, I about to. I was about to hit it. Anyway, who else, babe? Who I uh, who I miss? Oh, back to that. The first person I saw when I walked in, Jesus set this up. Is y'all ready? The first, yes, yeah, she sang. The first person I seen, Jesus set this up. He, I ran right into Ayana fix my life. I said, hold on now. Mm -hmm. She about to fix Jonathan. Mm -hmm. She said, if Jonathan want it, she got it, and I'm ready to go over there and support it, honey. So as soon as Jonathan get home, y'all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remind y'all what day we going to all hit Ayana. I got her phone number, honey. I got the phone number, right, Bree? We got the phone number. We gonna all hit blue and say, Ayana wanna talk to you, okay? The day he get out and get on the gram and be like, what up, y'all? Hopefully he get on there and say, praise the Lord, not schoolyard crib, but hopefully he get on there and say, praise the Lord, all honor. Did you call for the car? Yeah. Oh, and you're all packed up? Yeah. Up. Is we still on here or did it hang up? Why the hell you think Blue needs fixing? You've raised him. You need Hold on, bitch. I'm about to bop, delete your bobblehead ass. He need, he, I raised him, but I did not prepare him for his... for. Hold on. Let me make sure y'all can hear me. Because this dizzy bitch got me in left field in the morning. Okay, I'm still on. Thank you, boo. I raised him, yes. But when we get off into the world, this is why the Bible says good company, um, bad company corrupts good character. Okay? This is why. Because even Jesus raised Adam and Eve and put them on this motherfucking earth. Okay? The Lord God put Jesus and Adam blue on they ass, made them, and they still fucked the bag up. Okay? That's why. Now, did God make Adam and Eve? Did they have parents? No. God was their parent. He told them what to do, and they still didn't listen. And here your jackass go acting just as dizzy as you want to, too. Even if Adam and Eve didn't listen to God, and your black ass don't listen to God, why are you sitting up here worrying about what I, well, I'm still working on my son? Okay, my son is 27 years old. I'm still working on I'm working on them all. I'm going to be keep working until the job is done. Okay, until I can sit back and laugh at them doing the job with their kids and, and their grandkids. How about that? Now, don't ever ask a want tell a woman she raised her kids. Bitch, I raised them. He rich, he here. He need a little more raising. Okay, he could buy you. Now what? And your mama. Talking about me raising him. You know I raised him. That's why he here. Okay, that's why his name is legendary for the good and the bad. And we still, he's still a work in progress. 
just like you with your lame ass and tell your mama I said she did a horrible fucking job because you jumping on somebody else's live like you don't know that Jesus made Adam and Eve and they still, they kids fucked up, they fucked up, they, they kids turned out fucked up. Adam and Eve's kids killed each other, bitch. Do you know the Bible? Now don't let me get on here and have to start preaching to you talking about I raised my kid. Yeah, you damn right I raised my kid. He got kids, a house, a dog. He ain't got no cats, but shit. Is it, is it yours? Yeah, I got it yesterday. I was supposed to sleep with it all. Girl, you hear me? They always want to try to blame it on our parents. Don't don't blame my parents, okay? Don't blame my daddy. <laughs> don't do it. My daddy did a great fucking job, and I still turned out fucked up. How about that? <laughs> Now she got us all off in left field. We're supposed to be on here being grateful for um, these opportunities and these motherfucking rooms. My son, my fucked up son, got me in, okay? My fucked up son got me over here in the Beverly Hills Hilton, okay? Cash and checks. Getting invited, okay? I'm hanging out with Cardi B. Who you hanging out with? I'm out here hanging out with Cardi B. Now, because of my badass son. Fuck is you talking about? Now, when my son get his life right with Ayana, like I was saying, <laughs> when my son get his life right with Ayana, like I was saying, you better be the first one to give, give him honor since you don't want to give him no mercy and no grace. And I hope your kids turn out to be bad as fuck. I hope they rob liquor stores. It's like I'm lying. Forgive me, Jesus. I don't hope our kids rob no liquor stores. I hope your kids rob a motherfucking bank. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, Cardi is human just like us. She's the sweetest piece of pie. She reminded me of Callie, her whole energy and her whole aura. She was so sweet and so respectful. And she validated my beauty. You know, they say if Cardi put a stamp on it, bitch, you cute. So Miss Netta must be cute because I see y'all over there continually calling me and Mr. Sappho, Miss Netta and um, what's her husband's name? <laughs> That's what they said. Your shirt looked like Charles shirt last night, babe. Yeah, <laughs> baby was so bad about his shirt. He went home early from the party, y'all. Babe, you can't let these people make you go home early. I can breathe. <laughs> Y'all done put baby in the blogs talking about y'all. I just, his shirt is making me so angry. That's okay, because I'm going to get my man together. Y'all ain't going to scare my man after the night. <laughs> Take that motherfucking shirt off and show him your Rick Ross belly. How about that? Nah, my shit ain't no goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Why you love attention? That's why Blueface can't stand you. We neither one of us can't stand you. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how much money I make for this attention, ho? <laughs> Do you know what tax bracket I'm in for this attention? Mm -hmm. Stop asking me dumbass, slow ass, lame ass, project <laughs> section eight ass questions, motherfucker. <laughs> I got some good attention last night. You wasn't even here. Bree was here now. Where Bree at? I'm just playing. Let me stop when they think I'm over here having threesomes with my uh assistant. Child, Bree done went over there and told Omaria she want to suck his meat. I said, girl, I'm not taking you to no more celebrity functions, okay? Bree done just got out of character last night. I don't know if it was the dread thing or what. You know, they all, they got them dreads. Girl, Bree over there done hugged Omarion, took a picture and said, I suck your meat. I said, Bree, you said what? Bree, you cannot be no um groupie like, <laughs> you know who. 
Girl, Bree, somebody at Bree if I'm like ask her if I'm lying. Me and Tay had to get Bree together. It must be a dread thing they got going on, girl. I didn't know Bree had that up in her, girl. Bree go to church. At, no, she don't. She go to church some Sundays. But I just did not imagine Bree to be a groupie. Bree, I didn't mean to throw you under the bus, but I, baby, I just can't believe this. You will suck his meat. <laughs> Bree, I you shouldn't have said that, girl. I'm still lightweight drunk, so please forgive me. But Bree has said, <laughs> "Shit, she got me in the mood." I said, "Well, come on now." She was out of character, you know, and she, <laughs> and then the one man came over that could have been her husband. The one man came over, and he was so nice to her, and she gonna try to keep it all business and professional. Why do women do that? Okay, thank you. I'm like, that was a husband prospect, Brie. But then you gonna get to Omari on and wanna get loose. <laughs> Stop saying Junior is in the CPS. Y'all know Marsh got the baby and Blueface Daddy helping her. Why y'all act so dumb all the time? Junior ain't gonna like none of y'all. Y'all y'all just driving him up a wall. Making up rumors about him. If see if if one of my kids is in CPS and we famous and they don't call me, I'm gonna go over there and, and do a drive by on the CPS. How about that? So if I don't do no drive by, it wasn't never true. Marsh might live in a hotel. Why is y'all worried about where she lives? Long as it's uh some heat and some water and some shower and some food. Ain't nothing wrong with Section 8, girl. I had my Section 8 till they took it, okay? They took my Section 8 because I had my son living with me and he had been to the jail and I didn't tell him. And I've been to the jail and I didn't tell him. So they had a w double whammy on me and took my shit, girl. Damn. I would still have my Section 8 right now. Damn. I would still have my Section 8. I would still have my paperwork like cut this rent in half. Oh, Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> I'll be renting my husband's house right now. <laughs> oh, Section A. That's how you do it, girl. You got you got your man buy the house and then you rent it section eight from your man. <laughs> Keep it in the house. Blue and Meg. I did not see Megan and Stallion. I have not met her yet in person. When I meet her in person, I'm going to sprinkle the, the woo to doodle on her and her and John going to run off under the sun. Bree lost 100 pounds and she said she looked and felt good. Girl, you looked good as hell, honey. I don't know how much, how you looked with 100 pounds, but last night, honey, Omarion was up on you, honey. She is on tour. Can somebody, can y'all tell um, Megan that I would like to pull up for the tour and do, be a backup dancer for her since Callie won't let me? I've been practicing my moves for nothing. <laughs> Callie done picked her whole motherfucking dance squad and I was not on the list. But y'all can go watch the list. We gonna drop it tomorrow. The episode drops tomorrow. I'm salty about it, but you know what? It is what it is. <laughs> She don't think I got beat, but y'all know y'all seen me dance. I be I be twerking. I be working. We did. We had a, so much fun. We really did. But we honestly, we have we have fun. I've seen people <clears throat> leave their tables cuz I had a lot of people with me. I've seen people leave their tables to go sit like at the bottom of the table where like I guess the A list celebrities sit at I'm not leaving my people to go sit with nobody okay I'm not leaving my husband to go sit with nobody our seat is cool right here okay <laughs> this is good for us right here I'm not I'm, I came to enjoy the show but I came to enjoy the show with the people that I came with and I guess there was a seat for me there but not for them so I you know me I sat I sat with my folks 
last night was amazing. Thank you for including me. Thank you for making sure everything was perfect for me last night, Brie. I love you. I appreciate you so much. The blonde is cute. I don't know. I was so scared of it when I walked out of that chair. I said, you made me look like a fool. <laughs> Shout out to Shay. She was she was right. This is absolutely a cute little vibe for me for the week. Because I don't know why I can't leave. How do y'all leave these wigs on for more than two days? I feel like Frankenstein. Like, they just stitch me together over here. I can't leave this wig on for more than two days. You know I'm going to plop it off and sit it back on in two days. Now, why would Bree spit on me? I'm about to block you because you're a whole hating ass weirdo. You you hating this shit, huh? She hating this shit. She the main one been like, uh, oh, you only here because your son. Bitch, I'm here now. <laughs> I'm with Cardi B and them. You only here because your son. She's so mad. Bree should spit on me. <laughs> Bree is famous. Brie was with Cardi B last night, too. <laughs> I'm coming to the most reliable source. Exactly. Thank you to Auntie's house. Your son don't like you. He don't got to like me. He just got to love me, okay? <laughs> and word on the streets is he made sure all this happened. Nan and boo-boo. Word on the streets is uh, he made this happen. Now what? He don't got to like me. He got to love me. I don't give a fuck about none of them liking me. I don't give a fuck about none of them calling me. Just call me on Christmas and on my birthday, bitch. Bring my gift. <sighs> I love the red look the best, too. I got to go. My husband telling me to go. Dang, I'm trying to hang out with my friends. They want to know about last night. Yeah, they always trying to make a big deal out of my celebrity kids not liking me. They came out my ass. They not to me what they is to y'all. Okay, they still snotty nose little booger butt, bo little booger butt badass kids. Okay, I appreciate I appreciate you though, girl. Over here speaking for my son that came out my shitty ass. <laughs> girl, I'm the source. You forgot. Y'all can't break a Leo. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You can't. You can't. Not, especially not when God gave you everything you asked for. You cannot break a Leo. It's impossible. It's impossible. I'm at the Beverly Hills Hotel <laughs> with my man. with Cardi B. I got Cardi number. I'm about to pull up. We about to go shopping. Girl. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>